Hey, it's Thursday. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I created this screencast showing how to use Emacs as a terminal multiplexer instead of Emacs or new screen. And I got a lot of feedback from it, and a lot of people thought it was neat. But also, uh, some people had some concerns about it. Um, and that was had to do with speed. Uh, some people thought it was it looked clunky. Some people say, you know, it's not as fast as using the real thing, and it's just so much better just plainly to use Tmux and forget all about it in Emacs. So I was just curious, you know, exactly how much of a big difference is there. And uh, I'm not trying to win everyone over or anyone over for that matter. It's just a, a, a bit of fun, all right? So uh, from the comments, uh, I can kind of um, identify three points, which is one is, you know, reading lots of data, that's that's slow. Uh, switching between the terminals, that's slow. And create new terminals, that's slower than in Tmax. So that's what I will be addressing here. So here I have Tmax. This is the gold standard, right? It's awesome. So I have three tabs open and I can navigate between them. You can see the, the star down here is shifting so you can see which one is active. And it's, you know, it's great. Everyone, uh, we all know it and we all love it. All right, so the first one is then to have a look at a long text file. So I have, let's see here. I've downloaded a file from Gutenberg, uh, the whole book of Dracula. Um, and you can say it has uh, almost 16,000 lines of text. It's uh, more than 100 kilobytes big. It's a reasonable size. Um, and if I cut this, you know, it takes a bit. I do give, give you that. I would also add, though, that I very seldomly um, cut such a long file in a shell. Um, but for the sake of the argument, that's definitely um, longer. Okay, so here I am in Tmux and I can cut it and it's instant, you know, so much faster, no doubt about it. And if I do, you know, time in front of it, you can see it takes uh, almost nothing. Very, very fast. Okay, very fast. So now in Emacs here, I try this in the shell mode. So let's try this instead in in, uh, let's say, in a regular terminal. Hang on, did I have another one? I had another one. So I here can cat Dracula a lot faster, you know. Significantly faster than this, this is the shell mode, and this is VTerm. A lot faster, but still, it's definitely slower than Tmux. And let's see if I hit time before it. Um, okay, so I, uh, I did this earlier today and then I had 0 0.02 seconds and now it's 0 0.05. So I don't know what's going on. My computer is slower now in any case. But yeah, Tmux is faster definitely, but VTerm is, is definitely a lot faster than shell mode. Um, and then the second thing I want to investigate is how to switch between the terminals quickly. And I think the key here is to select, get a good shortcut that will work in all the different terminal modes. So I used to have, like in Tmux, I have control right and left to shift between the tabs. And in Emacs, I can't do that because in Vterm, it will grab control right and left. You know, I do control right and left, and it will just jump, you know navigate the words, which is nice, but that's not what I want right now. I want to switch really quickly. So I have mapped this to control page up and page down. Um, and then, you know, now I'm switching between three terminals back and forth, and I would say this is fairly quick. So I'll call this a tie. Um, let's see, then the last third and last point is uh, creating new terminals fast. And I've written this really simple function. It uses shell mode because that's what I, I like to use the most. I, Vterm is awesome, but I really like just plain shell mode. And this is something that gives me 
a shortcut, I can hit Control F1 and I get a new shell in, uh, and I take the name just from the file I got open, the buffer I got open, and I prefix with shells, I can easily navigate to all my open shells. It works for me. So let's see. I have worked like uh, I look in my talks directory and I hit Control F1 and I get a shell open corresponding to that one. And this is fairly quick. Right? Let me do that again. I'm closing it. And then one, two, three. It's open. So this is quick. And then same thing in Tmux. One, two, three. You know, uh, I call that a draw as well. <laughs> So um, in summary, uh, Emacs is pretty fast. Um, finding some good shortcuts will, you know, bring you um, uh, a lot of the way uh, to, to get a functional and, and comfortable mul uh, terminal multiplexer. Uh, and then, uh, last point to be said, of course, no matter how much effort you will spend on Emacs in this regard, I do believe that Emacs and screen will always be a little bit faster. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.